Hey everyone, I wanted to give you an idea of how to use this tool. It's a little clunky at first, so hopefully this helps. So what you do is enter in your address. I'm just going to enter in a random address in Los Angeles. Sure, sounds great. So what you end up doing is, let's say we're on the Regrarians trying to figure out our radius to population centers. So the first one I would put in would be 10 miles. And then I can choose color lines and thicknesses. I'll just leave it as red and red. And then I go to map options and I put in 10 miles. And then let's say, let's just choose the John Lecty Middle School as our place. So we click that. And if we zoom out, should see that we have a 10 mile radius right there. And then what you end up doing is just changing it. So you do a 25 mile radius change that to 25 miles, click back on this bad boy, blue, blue, and then it tells you just click again, and you can't click the same one, you have to click it a little bit off, but it gives you a nice kind of space, and then you just pretty much repeat that for you know 50 miles, usually label it 50 miles, and then just come in here, oh, I want to change the color just that way you can visually see the change. You just come in here, get as close as you can. Boom. 100. Make it yellow and yellow. Change that one to 100. And then you do that. And then what you can do is take a screenshot of that. Command Shift 4 to get that. You can also do the map um, a bit larger by where did it go? I know that we used to be in here. There you go. Do large. It's just really funky how it doesn't really want to work for you on that front. And then we can just center that bad boy like that. And then you can take another screenshot of that. So just move it out. And now you have your document for that. Now what we can do, it's got it, close full screen. And what you can do down here is actually generate a KML for it. And you can download the KML file. And let's see, boom. So then you would just come in, open up your tools and go through and change your polygons. So I'm just changing them all until I get to this one, which for some reason doesn't want to show up. It's really strange where that one is. I guess I only had four, so it's grabbing a polygon somewhere else. So anyway, you just do right click, get info. You could say that's 10 mile. You just right click, get info. Wish I had a shortcut. This is 25 mile. And again, to change the color and style, you come in here, do filled outline, and you can choose different colors. And color, you can do that. Of course, my mouse loves to do that on me. And then you just say OK. And then you can see that that's now that color. So that's our 50 mile. Get info, 50 miles, style and color. Just try to keep it consistent. And then what I've set up to in Mac is that you can choose transparent swatches and drag those down here. And then just say OK. And say OK. And zoom in. And then we just change that blue one. Get info. 100 mile. Make it. Let's make it green. Say OK. Let's make this one green. Say okay. Say okay.